wow, or maybe fabulous. That's the reaction those elaborate costumes are getting in the adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. They were put together with a lot of imagination and a lot of glue. Costume designers Tim Chappell and Lizzie Gardner created the outrageous get-ups. They had a low budget, but they got around that by using some Aussie ingenuity, masking tape, and a glue gun. Instead of sewing things together, you just glue it together. Because yeah. it's much faster and cheaper. It's truly creating. Yeah. True creativity, because we don't actually sew things together, we just put it together. And, uh, and also it's more, it's more traditional for drag to, be to made do with that. Masking yeah. Tape. Yeah. While the costumes looked good, they were not designed with comfort in mind. The shoes, the shoes, they just don't make shoes for men, do they? They don't make women's shoes for men that fit. I was embarrassed a lot of the time about the clothes because I didn't think, you know, I mean, just because they, they were very cheap, you know, and they, and they weren't sort of really elegant. I had a hard time making my body feel the right shape. Quite an understatement, according to Chapel, who says Stamp had to endure some two dozen uncomfortable outfits. Each time he wore one, I would say to him, don't worry, Terrence, I'll fix this one up. It shouldn't be too uncomfortable. And so at the end of the day, he'd take it off and there'd be scratches and red rashes and everything. So every outfit turned out to be just as uncomfortable as the last. And on the last day of shoot, I went up to him and I said, put the last outfit on Terence. And I said, Terence, don't worry, mate. This is the last uncomfortable outfit you have to wear. And he just turned around and slapped me right across the face. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, look at yourself, Mitz. How many times do I have to tell you green is not your colour? <laughs> The total costume allowance in the Australian production was only $15,000, which of course is a drop in the bucket compared to U.S. films. And it's also something to consider when you think that in just its first weekend here in the United States, in just seven theaters, it's already made over $200,000. Unbelievable. So. Those costumes are great. I can't believe they only spent $15,000. They're colorful. Jeez.